Hey guys, it is only the 12th of April, but I was just placing an order online on Desium and I thought, you know what, I'm about to get some products in and in my head, I just started doing the math of, oh my God, I'm getting some stuff in. How about, what, what about my no buy? And then I was thinking, no, it's not working. Et cetera, et cetera. So I thought, you know what? Let's just pause for a second, take a deep breath. Let me film what I have in empties for now. I still have two more weeks, so I probably have a lot more products coming in. But let me just do that so that psychologically I don't feel bad about what I got. And then I will also talk to you about what are the things that I have gotten that are coming um, in the way and what was the thinking behind them. So I do have a few a few body things, I guess. So I have this Margaret Dabbs Fabulous Hand Wash. Uh, I've had this for a while, actually, for way over a year. It's a product that I bought from the place where I used to get my medical pedicures. You guys know I have a, a feet issues, and so um, I really just wanted to have my feet done in a professional way. And this is a place that is uh, has a section with podiatrists, so I get it done medically because I just feel better about it then it's for me it's not really an aesthetic thing yeah i don't even get my toenails painted but uh, i really liked the products that they use because typically when you're selling the chair you have a few of their products and you get to sample them all of their uh, products smell a bit like lemongrass and that's something i really enjoy it's one of the citrusy smells that i gravitate towards anyway especially towards spring and summer uh, but I did have this and because I didn't spend a long time in uh, at home I used to travel a lot or spend most of my time uh, at work I didn't really need to use that a lot. I had quite a few hand washes But then uh, recently because I've been now for almost a month working from home four weeks now I had this uh, hand wash that I started using. I thought it was very soft on the hands, the very enjoyable smell. Yesterday I was very, 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 very close to buying the Aesop one, just because everywhere in my Instagram feed I see all these people buying these Aesop ones, and I really love the, the, the hand cream. It's The hand cream is amazing, but I almost caved. I must confess I almost caved. I just didn't buy it. I thought I still have I still have uh, my hand washes. So I'm going to keep using them. So that's the first thing that I finished. I will not repurchase for now because um, I have a, a couple other hand washes and I'm also using a L'Occitane body wash that I hated that I'm just putting in uh, in my pump and that's what I use to to clean my hands. Then I have the chemistry brand. This is one of the of the brands from the Decium group in Canada and this is the Retinol Pro Repair Body Oil for scars, stretch marks and daily care. Um, I had a, a period of time where my skin was really scaly. I tend to have extremely dry skin on my body. Um, same thing on my lips. My hair has also been super dry recently because I'm always indoors and I have the heating up uh, at times. Um, so I was using an oil. I know that this is something that I've had for, again, a lot over, probably over two years. Um, I had bought it in one of the uh, Decium flash sales and I had two of them. I finished one. I thought I'd finish the second one. I really like it, but uh, I would not repurchase it just because I do have some other body moisturizers and I recently started using the Aveda butter and also an argan oil one that I've had also for a long, long time since Morocco. So I'm definitely trying to work on my stash and I will actually walk you through my bathroom right now because I reorganized it one more time yesterday. I mean, I don't have something else to do, right? Uh, I reorganized it so now I have a lot of other things that are set there. And I finished the bath oil from Tisserand. This is the Muscle Ease bath oil. I have mentioned this so many times. It smells like ginger, lemongrass, rosemary. Again, scents that I really enjoy. Um, this came in very hand handy when I had a lot of anxiety because the way anxiety manifest and stress manifests in me is through knots and also cramps. So I've been having a lot of baths when I had to, 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 to go through that stressful three weeks period uh, for my project, for my work, for a lot of other things that were happening and that was a lifesaver. Uh, I have backups of this. 
right now even if I wanted to buy it I wouldn't be able to because I obviously don't go out but also the website where I bought it from Ocado um, doesn't give me a slot for the past few weeks now and it's not going to happen I think until autumn because I'm not in the government vulnerable list, list so I'm not going to be able to get that they also sell it at Boots uh, it's a British brand uh, but again I also don't go to Boots uh, I think I have all the medicine that I typically need except maybe paracetamol but I, I don't typically use paracetamol so for now I, I love it I have backups of it I will continue using it at some point I was thinking whether or not to use another oil that I have that is unscented because I've had it for a long time and I just don't want it to be sat there and I keep oscillating between I love this oil so much that I don't want to use something else this one and the relax one and at the same time I don't want to see that other oil sat there so I don't know I'm, I'm a bit torn because this is a time of really wanting to take care of myself and not beating myself up but I do get every now and then such discussions with my little head I have this Holland and Barrett spirulina I've had this for a long time because my younger sister in Morocco takes this a lot it's one of the supplements she really enjoys and I personally didn't get along with because you have to take uh, this three times a day and every time it's three tablets that's nine and it's just a lot of pills and so I remember I had tried it and then stopped and then tried and then stopped this is this is you meant to finish this in two weeks or so and I just couldn't finish it so while I was um, staying home I just decided to take it so that it's no longer sat there because I'm also reorganizing my shelf such that in the kitchen such that I have a shelf for supplements and medicine etc so I'm organizing that I'll also show you it kinky curly not today that's what I use to moisturize my hair my hair has been extremely dry especially in uh, the like ends and I really want to get a haircut and I have seen so many failed videos on YouTube um, but I, I was this close two days ago to cutting my hair so I'm, I'm, I'm still holding on quite strong but we might we might have a surprise in one of the upcoming videos um, then I have um, a lip conditioner this is from Caudalie I usually buy it in packs of three. Oh my god it looks why did I even open it um, it comes in packs of three I finished two of these I have the third one right now in my everyday makeup uh, section uh, so that's one of the things that I have ordered so it should come next week and I'm going to have another three pack I usually like to have one in my handbag one at work and one in my uh, in there but the switch now that I'm working from home is to have one in my uh, makeup section which I already have one around my work and obviously because it comes in a pack of three I will have one as a backup it's very inexpensive given the quality of the product that you get and I often get it on offer on look fantastic so I really really like it I was contemplating getting other types of lip moisturizers and I thought about it and then I thought you know what no I really like this it works it's the sweet price point why change dental care I finished I, I'm, I'm just tossing this it's just a brush head and I had uh, mentioned that when I travel I typically had these TP things to clean between teeth and I had bought a few of these at some point uh, last year or a year and a half ago but then I switched to a water flosser which unfortunately I cannot take with me traveling because it's very big but uh, I'm not going anywhere so I finished the the little uh, plastic ones that I had because I had traveled in the month of March extensively in the Midlands and so these were the last ones that I had I think I might have one or two of these things in in a blue shape but I will not use them because I've had them for a couple of years and I they've been out of their box and whatever so I don't even know what is stuck to them and then I have three face things uh, again as a reminder this is just part one of the empties we'll see how we get along in two weeks if I have a lot more I will film part two and, and edit it and post it otherwise we will just finish with this one so first thing is the Aesop gentle facial cleansing milk I don't enjoy milk cleansers I think that they are a bit too too soft and slightly greasy for my liking I like a cleanser to either be extremely balmy and then when it rinses it rinses clean or I like it to be uh, 
uh, not sudsy, as in I don't want it to foam, but you know, feel like I am cleansing my face. The milk formula typically in my head feels almost like I am not cleaning my skin. So that's a bit my issue, which is why I'm not going to repurchase it. This was a deluxe sample that I had gotten. I absolutely love the bottle, so I'm going to keep it to put my everyday cleanser from Aesop, which is Into Minds. And uh, I am running low on mine. I think I have this much left. And that's the other product that I ordered that is coming in the mail. It should arrive sometime next week. I think in a week from now. Um, uh, I have used the samples from Into Minds. I have used the bottle that is 100 ml. And now I ordered the 200 ml. It is going to, I might get bored of the of the in two minds from Aesop by the time I finish this bottle in a couple of weeks or so, but I do have a backup of the Caudalie Foam Cleanser. If it gets super, super hot, I'm going to use the Caudalie Foam Cleanser, but I don't like it as much. So that's why I want it in case I have down days where I really want just to have a cleanser that I like, that I enjoy when, you know, you're like up here, I don't really need something more to pile up. Let me just go back to something I like, that at least I have my Aesop one. So I'm going to keep this, I'm going to add a small sticker using my label maker and it's going to be my Into Minds little bottle. And uh, it's going to go in my travel section. For now I'm not going to fill it because I'm not traveling so it's going to, to stay empty but I'm still going to put the label so I remember what I wanted to put in it. Then I have the Ulla Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. I raved about it so many times. I've had it for two years. Uh, every time that I used it, you can feel that it's extremely active. When you apply it, it does have a citrusy smell. Again, you can see, you know, it smells like kiwis. It has a, an oil part, it has a, a cream part, and it has also some uh, hard, hard bits, almost like a physical exfoliation, but it's not microplastics. When you rub it, you feel that the oil protects you from, from the acids because it's definitely active, you can tell. You feel the heat, you feel that it's eating away at the cells on, in your skin. And definitely when you rinse it off, your skin is immediately soft. The only other product that I know has the same effect is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate, minus the heat, I would say. Um, maybe the Kate Somerville is a little bit more tingly. And that's actually what I have been using to replace this. I've had the Kate Somerville for, for a while. I bought it, it was quite expensive uh, because I had never purchased it before. It used to be one of those gifts with purchase from Sephora. That was the first time that I purchased it and I didn't want to open it until I finished all the masks that are similar because that is a product I didn't want to waste. Mm -mm, that's not going to expire. So I only started using it recently. I've used it, I think, two or three times. As amazing as I remembered it from many years ago, so cannot complain. The product that prompted me to actually do my online order from DCM, which is why I said, okay, is this still a no buy? Let me let me make a take a stock of what I have finished first, is the ordinary grand active retina weight two percent emulsion. So because I have stopped going to, to get facials because I am because of many 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 reasons, I feel that my skin is completely congested. Let me do a very unglamorous zooming in so that you can see all the issues that I have. But I have all these bits, I have a lot of texture, discoloration, hyperpigmentation that I'm addressing, uh, a little flare up of hormonal acne. You can see when I turn, it's really not, not, not the nicest, sorry, not the nicest look, right? Um, and normally, when you have, when I have such bad issues, I would probably want to turn to a retinoid, uh, a vitamin A, some kind of vitamin A product. I wasn't doing it because I didn't want to have many actives, because life. But now I'm thinking I am home. So even if I start using a retinol, uh, one of the side effects of the retinol is that I'm going to probably start peeling, most likely here first. I'm going to have all the painful pimples come out. It's not going to be pretty. 
it will be probably painful it will be unsightly i will not be able to wear makeup or if i wear makeup it will be flaky so yes there are lots of reasons why i wouldn't want to do that and so i said okay let me maybe start with a very very light formula that actually will not cause all of that irritation the light formula would be the gran active retinoid this is an emulsion it is very soft it acts uh, at a at a higher uh, surface level so you wouldn't have all of that irritation and i remember that i had this but i've had it for over two years and once you open it you have to use it within six months and it was halfway halfway done so i was about to start using it and then i freaked out because i knew that it's expired and i didn't want to take that risk even with with a gran active so i decided to do it the proper way and i went to the cm website uh, actually, before going to the same website, I looked at every other brand, uh, Dermaceutic, Murad, um, uh, SkinCeuticals, uh, Sunday Riley, like all, the, all these brands that do retinols. And I thought about it quite a bit, and then I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to start with a, reti a retinol at a low percentage. Uh, it's not going to be a grand active, so I'm going to go with one that is a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I'm going to start with the 0 0.2, finish that bottle, 0 0.5, finish that bottle, and then 1%, which will be extremely painful. Um, so I ordered the three, the three things so that I have the whole course of treatment. I'm going to start as soon as it arrives next week, and you will probably notice immediately i think i give it a week before my skin completely breaks out i am psychologically ready for it and normally that's not something i would do in summer i mean we are in spring because of the sun etc etc but i will be wearing my sunscreen all the time even if i'm indoors and i'm not close to a window i will be paying attention to a lot of things i will not be wearing makeup no that was a lie i will still wear makeup when i'm working so I'm about to embark in a retinol journey. It's going to be many, many months in the making because I think if I start now and I get all the, uh, I will start end of April, I will probably get the side effects from the first, uh, the 0 0.2. When I move to the 0 0.5, that's my entire uh, June and July that are completely messed up. And then probably when I move to the 1%, it's going to be around October, November, December. And by then, I think my skin would be would be a bit used to that. Uh, the turnover would have increased. We wouldn't have as much sun. So hopefully it will work out and I will get that flawless retinol skin. So let's pray for that. Let's pray for my skin because it's about to get ripped. Um, so these are the products that I have finished and um, that is why I feel a little bit better about having my retinols coming in and uh, I will probably film as a, a, a next step to this video, I will film just a small haul of what I got but let me remind you of what I have changed in my bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom, now you can definitely see the damage to my skin from all the stress. So this lighting is very harsh, but it's very, very useful for making my point about why I need to start retinols. Maybe I will start filming my, all my skincare routines in here, like the skin updates, so that you really have an idea of how bad it is, because I feel like natural light always makes you look better. Um, my beauty cabinet, this is where I track my progress about my no-buy, about how everything is progressing. So I have here, I put the couple products that I'm going to finish probably next week. Um, this is the cleanser that I said I have ordered. Uh, it's running low, so I'm just getting a backup of that. But um, I really, really like it, so I don't think I'm, I'm going to be super bored of it. The Kate Somerville uh, uh, that, I, that I'm using now, which has replaced my Ola Hendrickson sauna thing, it's really, really amazing. Very expensive, but really amazing. That's the, the thing that I like using. And that actually, that used to be an oil from, oops, from Neil's Yard, but I, re, but I filled it with uh, an unscented oil and I have a big bottle of that. And now I'm really torn about using it or not because I just find it so boring when I have this exciting thing to use. 
and although I have started using this Veleda that I absolutely love, I also want to make progress on this. And my little label, and that goes into my backup. Thanks for watching.